Okay, I go to the movies with friend wife. That's me. That's this one over here, and we're gonna go see. What are we even gonna see? We're gonna see the What's chosen. What season four? We've done that before. Episodes uh, four through six. Where's it? What? No, yeah, yeah, four yeah, through yeah. six, and uh, yeah. So we know it's the chosen. We already know this season's about Lazarus. So when we get back out to the car, we'll let you know what we thought about stuff it. Stuff and happened. Yeah. I go to the movies with friend wife. Who would have thought? So here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. The Chosen. Uh, season four, episodes, uh, four through six. We saw them, and it was it was wonderful. It so, was. So uh, yeah, we're continuing picking up where we left off, and the last one, which we I guess we don't. <laughs> How do you do this without doing spoilers? Uh -huh. <laughs> For the other one, well, uh, I guess that was a few weeks ago. You should have watched it by now. <laughs> So, uh, that girl Thomas You don't have is, to tell them. Well, we do, because we got to go into the whole... There's an entire episode that's about oh. carrying around her body. Oh, yeah. I guess that <laughs> happened. Someone important died. Yeah, Thomas's girl. Oh, you said it. Well, yeah, spoilers. There's no way to talk about this without doing okay, spoilers. Okay, well, anyway, so the, whole, so the big part of the... This was about carrying the body. Yeah, it's From like this first episode. The other. I guess they're taking it to her parents. The town. Yeah, they're taking yeah. her her body back home. So it was. This and the dad comes out. There's a whole. Oh there's my a gosh, whole so to do. This powerful moment of Thomas is walking like closest to the body. Yeah, and there's this. There's other people that will like kind of trade out of the walking with. I'm like, well, Jesus will walk with, and so um, it's this idea of. So there's walking this... together. In grief with someone, yeah. right? There's this whole thing where Peter's like, I don't know what to do for him. You know, he's talking to Jesus. I don't know, how am I supposed to be uh, a leader or whatever? Whatever I'm saying. How am because, I supposed to be a rock? I don't know what I'm supposed to do for this guy. Because he's like freaking out. Because uh, that that soldier, uh, our, the weird bald guy from the... What was his name? I forget. Mm -hmm. It's not Gaius. Gaius is the other one. Yeah. So that's a whole other see, thing. He gets a different job. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, yeah. Or was it, was it guys? I get these names confused. Anyway. Anyway. So, and Peter's like, I don't know what to do with him. And he's like, well, you know, it wouldn't have done any, anything any good for people to talk to you after your wife had that miscarriage, you know, that sort of thing. He's like, oh, yeah, that's true. So then he's just going to, he's just going and he's going to just sit with them, you know, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's all freaking out. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a big part of that. And yeah. so, and so, her dad is so pissed that he starts spreading uh, information that Jesus is wicked, you know. And this starts. So there's two narratives going through the population about how he's this amazing healer, but then other people are like he's wicked, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of thing. And it, that part was interesting, too, about how Jesus handled that, because it, the dad is clearly in his grief, right? Because yeah. he um, disowned his daughter when she decided to follow Jesus, and then yeah. now his daughter is dead. Yeah. And maybe it's these people's fault, or however, right? I mean, in the all the big feelings that come in grief. And so he's saying all these terrible things, and Jesus kind of was like, this conversation is over. Like... Let's turn around and yeah, walk away. Yeah. Like with that it's gonna walk away. peaceful authority of we don't have to really keep doing this. We don't have to keep tolerating. Like let's just Yeah. So that was his, interesting. His disciples are like more wanting to argue with the guy and that sort of thing. So that's interesting. And in this point the uh, You said what you said. Yeah. At the, in these three episodes the uh, the Pharisees are doubling down and they're really trying to you know, get Jesus, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And there's like all this stuff about the different factions inside of the Sanhedrin and 
our Pharisee characters, you know, trying to figure out what committee to get on. You know, it's a bunch of political nonsense. Yeah. She's like, this isn't what I got into this for. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so there's, and for Bible nerds, you, you learn, they talk about, you know, uh, Hillel and Shammai and all this sort of stuff, which is, you know, for uh, cultural context nerds, you know, that are into that sort of stuff. It's cool. It's a, then there's it's another like big grief situation. Um, um, but, but there's another, like, like situation surrounding grief and just like Jesus is with us in our grief. He walks us with us in our grief. Yeah. And then, um, what I really liked is when they did, um, they were celebrating one of the festivals or Hanukkah or yeah, is it was Hanukkah. Is festival the right The word? festival dedication. It's Hanukkah. And so it's it the... shows like the lighting of the candle and then here's what we do on this day and then oh next flash to lighting of the candle this they, is what we do. They, they tell the story of the maccabees yes and so it shows like they put on a little play uh -huh, all the things other. that they do and and to me it brought just such feelings and memories of like like in my younger days when i had a really strong friendship group of people surrounding thoughts yeah. and ideas of jesus and then that like that powerful connectedness of like deep fellowship of people that have been through hard things together, but you're coming together and you're celebrating. Yeah. Um, so this is also the time that they are leaving Capernaum. It's like, that's where they've been staying. They've been staying up at the north of Galilee and they're heading toward it. They're going to Jerusalem. That's and for uh, some of you Bible folks that will clue you into some things. Yeah. -da -da. So we're, we're heading south. And uh, there, there's the whole story about the, the Roman, uh, uh, Matthew's Roman friend. He gets the other guy's job, so he's in charge of the town now. And uh, he ends up being the soldier. We just what? gotta do soldier. We just gotta do spoilers. There's oh, no way to talk about this without spoilers. This is so embarrassing. He becomes the soldier that's like. I know that you have the authority. Just say it. Just say it. Oh and yeah, that happen. story. Because it yeah, was yeah, like yeah. the thing about his son that was born. Yeah, yeah. From adultery. Yeah, there we go. That's yeah. the grief. That's it's the... like which they talked to, which we they set that up in a different mm -hmm. season in one of the now, earlier. Now keep in seasons. mind, there's quite a bit of artistic liberty, but it's okay. It's yeah. okay. We don't need to be like, well, that part yeah, didn't happen. We we know. P Peter and Matthew, they go to talk to him, and they're like, "What the heck's going on?" And it's like, "Oh." Oh, I'm really, really enjoying how they're portraying Matthew with so clueless socially yeah, yeah. <laughs> about different things. Yeah, I really it's fabulous. Think... It's so fabulous because guess what? It's just like me. It's like she's laughing half the time <sighs> because it's like oh, you do that. But Jesus and him are friends. Yeah, and that's I like and Peter that. and him are friends. I like now. that. So um, yeah, there's there that story is going on. We meet Lazarus. Mm -hmm. So we? we go, yeah, we we hang out at Lazarus's house. Oh, no, there's Mary and Martha and that yeah, whole that, that, thing that about story. she has chosen the better part that won't be taken away from not her. The, not the Wait. making tasty treats is bad. Wait. Is that, yeah, I'm not sure I said that right. No, you did. Okay. Yeah. Um. So but, we, we but set up that. There was so much compassion for, in this scene, for Martha. Like, yeah. we're not saying, there's no shame, we're not saying what you're doing is bad. Being hospitable is yes, bad. Yes, there's a good thing in this. And I thought that was really, really great. Like, because there, I feel like that was, I don't want to say forced, but that was like really like emphasized, yeah. which I thought was wise because maybe I don't want, a lot of people that watch the show, I didn't that's want to upset something. upset the, the homeschool or No, I mean, moms. that's maybe something that people <laughs> struggle with. Yeah. Is how to not. Okay, well, and I'm not going to do any of it. Like, that, the balance and yeah. the honor that comes with that. But then also, but Mary has chosen the better part. Like, let's also there's remember a, to sit at the feet of Jesus. There's a really good scene that is completely, it's not, it's entirely. Uh, liberty. Yeah, uh, liberty. artistic liberty with Jesus and his mom. Like yeah. she does this whole thing where she's washing his hair. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, a sweet, sweet, it's a sweet scene. Sweet thing. You know? Yeah. So that's nice. Um, what's something else that happens in this? Uh, well, I wanted to talk. Well, he, he confront. He starts confronting the Pharisees at the temple, and and they, they try to stone him. 
Yes. Oh, and, uh, right. There was something I thought was so funny right. about that. Because it was like they just had a cart of stones. I guess in case someone committed a blasphemy, yeah, they could we're stone just ready. We're They just, just ready. had this random cart of stones <laughs> just sitting here in the corner in case we need to start stoning people. <laughs> but anyway. Somebody got legit hurt. Yeah. Well, I think, I think if, uh, it was Thomas. He got hit in the head. So I think he's going to be absent when Lazarus comes back to life. So he's going to doubt that Jesus brings people back to life because he didn't Jesus, see with his own eyes. Yeah, Jesus didn't bring back his uh, fiance. Uh -huh. I think he's going to miss Lazarus. We're just forget because he got smacked in the head during the stoning. <laughs> oh. But what I wanted to talk about was Hanukkah, and everyone's having a yeah. happy celebratory time together, and Jesus gets a letter about Lazarus being sick. Yeah. And so he's like, hey, guys, I think I'm going to lay down for a minute or I'm going to turn in for the evening or whatever thing he says. And so it just, it's like in the midst of the joy and the celebrating, there's a real human feeling moment. Yeah. And he goes alone to his little bedroom area and has sad feelings about his friend. Yeah. So. And then guess what happens at the end of this episode, not like the end of the story story. Yeah. Or guess what? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna tell these people. They really it? know. Lazarus dies. Oh, he gets the message that Lazarus dies, so they're gonna go there. But this is right after Thomas got hit in the head with a rock. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I just think that there's just such um, cleverness. Yeah. In writing, like it shows, like Jesus walking through this grief and walking through this grief, and then oh, guess what? Jesus also experiences like his, yeah. his very I'm trying own. to think if there's any other main threads through these episodes. Oh, the carry the the turn the other cheek carry the pack. Oh, the that was mile. whoa. Yeah, they did they did the extra and yeah. this really this really pisses off Judas. <laughs> oh, there's this whole thing between Matthew and Judas. Because Matthew he's he notices there isn't enough money. Oh, even this though, was cool. He even though counted. he he hasn't counted the money. But he can tell. Yeah, that was cool. Because his brain just knows. Yeah, like he looked in the box. He's like, this isn't right. Yeah, and then he <laughs> feel, and he's like, this is, they, yeah, that they, was way they, cool. They gave him a Rain Man moment. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they kind of did. His brain, he was like, his brain this, knew. This isn't right. Yeah, his brain knew what the, this without him consciously mm -hmm. having tabulated anything, uh -huh. his brain uh -huh. was like, this isn't the right amount. Uh huh. Yeah. It, was just, it was just, you know, it was kind of interesting. And, and Judas is, you know. And it showed Judas, like, his holding back the money from a place of. He should get paid because he's doing an extra job is what his friend tells, his oh. old friend tells him. Um. Well, I was going to say kind of before that, the like, these people, they just spend money on stuff and they don't know. And I'm smarter than them and yeah. I know how to manage money. And I just need to hold some back because these guys yeah. are just. But like, he also we're gonna run out like that, like his old, trying to uh, maybe like um, set up like that. How you justify in your mind doing wrong? Yeah, he kind go, of. he goes to visit his old mentor, mm -hmm. and this whole time it's like he tells his old mentor, everyone Judas talks to says Jesus is the Messiah. <clears throat> it's like it, they portray Judas as, as actually believing all this. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he really believes, but he just there's something in it where he doesn't. Trust. trust that they're doing the right thing like he was so mad whenever they did the thing with the carrying the oh yeah that was really cool because it, it the the pack the extra mile yeah sort of so thing. here comes these romans like they're walking along doo -doo -doo, here we're talking to our friends doing our thing doo -doo -doo, these romans come and they're like all right jews you gotta hold yes you gotta carry our packs for one mile which the part that i thought was interesting that i never had considered before that meant that whatever they were carrying they had a drop. Yeah, they and left I don't all know their if that's stuff accurate, in the road. I could have carried both, but I don't know. I don't know how how they, that what was what it, was normal or whatever. They would just make it harder. Um, and so they left their stuff. They picked up this other stuff, and so they're like, do 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 do, and then it shows like the the marker that shows the mile. A mile. Yeah, and I'm like, well, okay, and then in Jesus continues walking. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. 
at first. He just continues walking. Like, the law says you only have to do it a mile. He's like, there's nothing, nothing in the law that, that says that I can't, can't voluntarily, voluntarily do that. Go to the. It's only one more mile. We might as well just, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and how it, how much that affected the the Roman power soldiers in that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it messed with them. It was like, no, I'm. We're giving this to you. We're doing this to be nice to you. You know, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And, was, and they're like, like, the well, at least let like, me take my own helmet back or whatever. Way, like it, they were yeah, so uncomfortable with the yeah, gift. Yeah, they. They're like, we don't want them to be confused when we arrive at the gate over who the soldiers are. Oh right, yeah, <laughs> yeah we can't yeah. have that. Because yeah, they're really it's gonna, gonna, be gonna make them look bad or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're gonna, yeah. Yeah. And then, so then they go have to walk all the way back to get their stuff, yeah, right? To go pick up their stuff and continue on their way to Lazarus's house because uh, that's where they were going. And in in this particular way, they were like. <gasps> <clears throat> it's a miracle that our stuff got stolen and i don't yeah, know how accurate stuff, that would have been like yeah. did they really have to leave their stuff but it is an interesting component like it wasn't just we have to carry your stuff yeah it's putting our stuff at risk yeah. or whatever i don't know it was so uh at the beginning of one of, of their journey i think it would have been the beginning of the second episode because that's where they started the journey but it was uh they, get, they found they got a big package on the road from joanne with a bunch of stuff to sell oh, and some yeah. money so joanna that's where, joanna jo yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we know. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of anything. Oh, yeah, that was really stuff. cool how they showed that. Yeah. Like, they're just dropping off this package, and it was, like, how she supported them financially and stuff. Yeah, there's this, I don't know, the the way they're they're setting up Judas is interesting, you know. Yeah. And, I, and they set up that uh, John was the person who traveled with Judas. Which I find really interesting, you know, when they went on the, the two by two thing, which it doesn't say in the Bible, but they did that in the show, which makes it so interesting because John writes more about Judas than the other, than the oh, other gospels. So it was a clever way, so to, it was a clever way to put that in, but he also used the harshest language for Judas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> he also uses the harshest language. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, it's, I don't know. I just I found it interesting. Anyway, we gotta we gotta stop saying. I mean, <laughs> we're spoiling the heck out of this. Yeah, sorry. but uh, <laughs> but it was really powerful how it started with them like walking the road with the body and just like yeah, the grief episode, the grief, and how was it? Peter like went to him. And he's like, I'm just gonna sit with you. Yeah, and like like help yeah, he like didn't breathe be like sit with yeah he, like he, breathe with me like let me help yeah. you you know whatever yeah oh yeah and then he says that like. But how can I breathe when she doesn't have breath? I mean, yeah. just the things that you would say when you're in deep grief and agony and, and him just like <sighs> sitting with him in them. Yeah. So, but anyway, the the next, there's only two more episodes and it's going to be coming out February 29th. But Weekday. Yeah, so. Did you know? So we'll be, we'll watch those two also and do a review. I'm going to let you know. Yeah, Go spoil see it. those it's episodes fabulous. too. <laughs> yeah, because apparently that's what we're doing. <laughs> so anyway, but we can be done talking about this now. So see you next date night that we go on. Okay, we just watched The Chosen season four episodes four, uh, four through, through six. six. Yeah, and we're throwing them up on the Thoughts and Opinions pile. Well, Opinions? Yeah, and they'll soon be buried by everybody else. Thoughts and Opinions, that sort of thing. But uh, go ahead and tell us your thoughts and opinions. You know, put them in the con comment section. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, uh, don't forget to feed your cat. And don't get stoned in the temple. See you next time.